Yo, Microsoft, you see what they're saying about you? You're back in. You're cool again. Dang straight. Oh. Microsoft announced some cool things and showed off others during their keynote presentation at the Build 2015 Developers Conference. First off, Project Spartan has an official name, Microsoft Edge. It also has an unfortunately familiar logo. We've already heard that the new browser will incorporate annotations, Cortana integration, and a reading list, but today Microsoft confirmed it will also support extensions from Chrome and Firefox with a bit of code tweaking. Microsoft also announced tools that will make it extremely easy for iOS and Android developers to alter their apps to run on Windows 10. Project Islandwood for iOS and Project Astoria for Android will enable devs to retain their apps existing Objective-C, Java, or C++ code and add some slight modifications to enable it to run on Windows. Because Lord knows Windows Phone needs more apps. Or Windows Mobile, as it's officially called now. Developers will also be able to prepare and sell existing Windows software using legacy Windows code through the Windows Store. Makes sense. There's a lot of windows in that sentence. Another new feature that was announced is Continuum, which will allow Windows mobile devices to basically power a full desktop Windows experience when connected to a monitor, keyboard, and mouse. Continuum is a showcase of Windows 10's universal apps, which promise to work on every form factor, desktop, tablet, or phone. Excel and Photos were demoed running in phone mode and transitioning to desktop mode when connected to desktop peripherals. I think this is really cool. Just so everyone knows. You can write it down if you want. And of course, Microsoft brought out HoloLens and showed off its ability to simply run Windows 10 apps on a wall. Yep, the HoloLens is part of Windows 10's universal apps ecosystem. Any app you can run on another Windows device, you can run on Windows Holographic, pinning it to a wall or having it float in front of you or even just follow you around. Developers at Build will be able to play with demos all week, those lucky bastards. The device is apparently supposed to launch within the Windows 10 timeframe, so we all might be saying, help me, Obi-Wan Kenobi, you're my only hope, before we even know it. Ooh, is that it? Oh right, and Microsoft is giving developers the ability to create add-ons that work across Windows, the web, and Microsoft Office apps. An Uber add-on running inside Outlook was given as an example. Okay, that's it for Microsoft now. Okay, there was a lot of Microsoft news today, but we can't just talk about Microsoft. What else is there? AMD's roadmap for 2016 was apparently leaked, indicating a number of 14 nanometer chips are coming next year. Summit Ridge high performance eight core processors using Zen architecture will replace its current gen FX series. Bristol Ridge four core processors will occupy the high end APU space. Basilisk will run laptops with a five to 15 watt TDP and Styx will run tablets with a two watt TDP. Could 2016 be the year AMD finally strikes back? I believe in you. And benchmarks of Intel's upcoming Core i7-6700K Skylake SCPU have reportedly leaked online, showing the four core slash eight thread chip performing about 15% better than the chip it's supposedly replacing, the Haswell-based i7-4790K. Rumors point to the new chips releasing sometime mid-August, but again, that's what these are, rumors, and we shouldn't pay too much attention unless you're obsessed with Adele. Mantvitas, or Mantvidas, I don't know, either one. If you haven't heard us talking about NCIX's 19th anniversary lately, you have not been watching Netlinked. Literally like the last five episodes. But now, the 19th anniversary mega sale has officially launched. Ah, deals! For Canadians, there's an MSI GeForce GTX 970 OC edition for $369.99 and an Xbox 360 Windows controller for $21.99. And for Americans, an LG 25-inch ultra-wide IPS monitor for $179.99 and a G-Skill Ripjaws X 16 gig DDR3 RAM kit for $108.99. Whoa! Click here or the link in the description to see all the deals and click here to enter the 19th anniversary sweepstakes. All the details are in there and prizes. Click them. All right, that's it for Netling Daily, guys. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos like this from NCIX. And remember, stay on your toes. It's hard out here for a pimp. Do you do the thug life thing? Or am I just standing here? I thought you'd do the thug life thing. Okay, well. That's it.